You know, the other day, I tried watching the movie The NeverEnding Story, but I just couldn't finish it. Get it? Can't finish it? It's never ending? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome. It's Old Bald Dad here, and it's time for another Testing Tuesday. We're just gonna have some fun doing some tests, and we're gonna learn about ourselves. Well, actually, I'm gonna learn about myself here. We're gonna find out a little bit about Old Bald Dad. You see, when we get older, we kind of go on these journeys of self-discovery, and we, we try to figure out about ourselves. I don't know, maybe it's because we get old and we just forget things. And we forget something vi very important, like, who am I? Why did I come here? What am I doing in this room? I really don't know. What was I doing again? What was I saying again? Anyway, we kind of go on these memory trips where we, we, we want to find out about ourselves. Is this really about me? Is this what I knew? So we're going to go on a little bit of discovery as well as put these uh, test, these quizzes to the test. We're going to do a couple of mirror. We're going to start with one. Learn about what am I afraid of? Because I really have no idea. Maybe my wife. Shh. Don't tell her I said that. But, you know, I, we're, we'll try that out. And then we'll see if these tests can really guess your age based on your preferences. Is old bald dad really old? Or does he just think so? So let's give it a try. Let's, let's give it a test. Try these things out. See if these tests will actually reveal about ourselves. Maybe we'll learn something. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Let's try it. All right. Our first test here is like the word. This word test will reveal your biggest fear. So I'm guessing what you're supposed to do by the look of it here is uh, you fill in what the blank is. Is kind of what you do. And you make a word. And whatever word that is, you select. Since it's C-A underscore E, since old bald dad is always hungry, we're going with cake. I like cake. Is cake here? Oh, there's a cake. Let's try the next one. P-R-I underscore E. I don't want to reveal the test because I might change the way I think. Uh, let's go pride. P-R-I-D-E. Pride. Is that one of them? Yes, it is. Uh, S-T-O blank E. Well, the very first thing old bald dad thinks of, because it's Christmas, is him going to the store. The store. Let's see, a store here? Store is. Wow. Doing good. I don't know what I'm going to do if I get one that doesn't have it. Uh, S blank A-R-E. Well, since I do a lot of it at people, just to make them feel uncomfortable, stare. Stare. Just stare at people. Just until they turn around and look at you, and you're like, wasn't looking, wasn't looking. You ever done that? I don't know. But stare. Let's go for stare right there. Stare. Blank E-A-L. Now, I had two kind of come to my mind as soon as I had that, because old bald dad's always hungry too. Meal. The other one I had was seal. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe seal meat. Maybe have fun. Nice, cute seal when they're babies, and then nobody cares about them when they get older. But I got it with meal. Meal. M-E-A-L. Old bald dad's a bad speller, but even he can spell meal. Is it here? Oh, there is meal. I wonder if it was seal there. Oh, seal was there. Seal was there. Okay, next. D-O blank E. D-O blank E. I don't know. Is that Dole? Like Bob Dole? That's not the first one that came to my mind. If you don't know who that is, that's because you're not as old as old bald dad. If you don't know who Bob Dole is, sorry about that. Uh, but I thought of Dove. Dove. I don't know. Maybe it's the shampoo that I used to use uh, when I had hair. Now I'm sad. Dove, Dove shampoo, Dove the bird, is it here? D-O-V-E. But Bob Dole was not there. Bob Dole not there, but Dove was. All right. Blank A-Y. Uh, I guess I gotta go with day. Day, I like day. Say, may, pay. But I had day first, so gotta go with the initial instinct, pay. Or day, sorry. Day is there, but pay was not. All right. Blank A-G-E. Blank A-G-E. That could be a couple things. Badge. Gadge. But I, I, think, I think I thought of the word page first. I thought of the word page. 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 Like turning a page. I don't know. Let's turn a page. Is it here? Page. P. My biggest fear is claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. You are afraid of tight spaces. You steer clear of elevators and small rooms with lots of people. Being in close quarters makes you cringe. Uh, I'm going to say, not really. I'm not really claustrophobic. Uh, I, I can understand why people are. 
Uh, I don't enjoy being restricted and things like that, but claustrophobic in itself, I am not. Uh, I don't like being in large crowds just because it doesn't let me move. I like to move. Uh, I would have gotten more with, like, if, if it's a claustrophobic in a dark box, maybe, but I spend a lot of time in kind of places here, even here where I am. There's only one way in and out. So I, I, I gotta say, no, I don't think so. I don't know. What's your biggest fear? Are you claustrophobic? Maybe it's spiders. Let me know in the comments and, and reveal your fear. Not that we'd ever take advantage of that. But let me know. What would you get on a test like this? So let's give another one a try. This one about ourselves, about our age. What's going to go with our age? Our age. Can we guess your age based on your Christmas tradition? So we got our fear that they said. Old bald dad did not know that he was claustrophobic, but according to that last test, he was. So let's find out how old he is. We'll see. Can we guess your age based on your Christmas tradition? What kind of Christmas tree do you get? Well, let's see. I've got an artificial one that's in one room. But since it's gets, I picked it up here just the other day. A real tree. Real tree. Nothing like that smell of pine in the house and in the van. My van now smells like a pine tree. That's probably much better than the usual smells that are in there. But what can you do? What do you put on the top of your Christmas tree? An angel, a star, something else, or nothing? Well, see, this doesn't work for me because I have two trees. So on top of the two, each tree is something new. I got an angel on one and a star on the other. Uh, but if I got to go between the two decorations that we've got up, I got to go with the angel. I like the angel. She's a pretty one. Got Has two lights, the whole bit. I got to go with my angel. Do you hang Christmas lights? Yes, every year. Yes, but I just leave them up all year round, or nope. Uh, the answer is yes every year. That's only because my wife makes me do it every year. If I had my way, I'd just leave them up all the time, put them on. Uh, but yes, every year. Yes, every year. Do you hang mistletoe? Old bald dad's married. He gets all the kisses he wants from his wife. No, no mistletoe. We don't drug them with plants. I'm going to quote Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And Robin Hood says, look, mistletoe, mistletoe. He said, many of, women, many of maidens have lost their virtue to me. And Azim looks at him and says, in my country, we talk to our women. We don't drug them with plants. Absolutely. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves reference. Go watch the movie, the one with Kevin Costner. Great movie. Highly recommend it. I would watch it. Maybe I'll watch it later. I don't know. Uh, when do you eat Christmas dinner on Christmas Day? Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or Christmas dinner. Or we don't eat Christmas dinner. I'll say Christmas Day. Uh, but my Christmas dinners are often very random. Uh, last year, it was Chinese food. Uh, this year, uh, I know on the menu is going to be sushi that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make at home. Love me some sushi. I'll make it all at home. That's going to be on the menu. Uh, so it's kind of a mishmash. Not, tr not the traditional Christmas dinner. But what do you guys have for Christmas dinner? Let me know in the comments. Do you eat anything strange at Christmas dinner? We'll find out. All right, what's the main course at your Christmas dinner? Turkey, ham, something else, or again, we don't eat Christmas dinner. Okay, I admit, although I have some random Christmas dinners of the ones that we have, it's got to be ham. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like turkey. I don't. I've had it. People force it on me. I don't like turkey. I find it the driest of the birds. I've had duck. I've had chicken, turkey. I've had partridge. That's game bird. I don't like turkey. Ham. It's fattening, I know. But it's usually moisture when cooked right. Ham. What do you leave... What snack do you leave for Santa? Cookies, carrot sticks, sandwich, cake, pie, or candy? Oh, wait. Alcohol or something else. Not for the trespassing. <laughs> okay, bad word there. I don't know if Santa's actually that. I'm guessing Santa has parents. I don't know. I never hear about his parents. Uh, cookies, carrot stick, sandwich, cake, pie, candy, something to drink, or something else. Uh, Santa probably, after dealing with all these naughty kids all year long, probably could use the alcohol. Don't recommend it, though. Uh, Santa don't have time to sit down and eat no cake. I'm sorry. You know how many places he's got to go to? Santa ain't have time to eat no cake or a sandwich or pie. The only reason you put one of them things out is because you're trying to catch Santa and want to see him in the morning. Uh, 
Cookies or carrot sticks? I'm going to tell you right now, you leave something out. Santa wants the cookies. Cookies. Absolutely, the cookies. Santa don't want no carrot sticks. Santa wants to go on a diet. It's not going to be at Christmas. Nobody goes on a diet at Christmas. Forget the carrot sticks. Where do you hang your stockings? On the mantle? On our beds? Somewhere else? Or we don't do stockings? I don't have a mantle. How many houses have mantles nowadays? We don't really have fireplaces anymore. Uh, who hangs them on their bed? If I hang them on the bed, you want you want the creepy guy walking in your house putting something in your stocking in your bed while you're sleeping? It's bad enough Santa comes in your house when you're asleep. But do you want him in your bedroom? Uh, ours are somewhere else. Ours are kind of on a do door frame uh, out in the main room. Where When do you open presents? Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. One on Christmas Eve and the rest on Christmas Day. Uh, spread evenly on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We open Christmas presents at other times or we don't do presents. Uh, typically in our family, we don't do a whole lot of presents, but we do do presents. Uh, but we keep with the tradition of one on Christmas Eve and the rest on Christmas Day. One on Christmas Eve, the rest on Christmas Day. I don't know, what about you? Where do you open your presents? How do you open presents? Okay, how do you open your presents? Well, I open, take the gift and I open it. I don't know. Uh, everyone opens at once. Okay, one person at a time. Uh, you open presents as soon as you're up, regardless of who else is there. We don't really have an opening process. It varies. Or like I said before, we don't do presents. Uh, for us, one present at a time. We like to see what each what other gets. And both the boys want to see what they get too. Uh, it, actually, I have more than two. But the boys like to do it as well. Uh, now, finally, do you believe in Santa? I don't think that's a nice question to ask. Especially on a test like this. Remember, it's asking, do I believe in Santa? Uh do I believe in uh, St. Nicholas? Or do I believe in some guy who can break the laws of physics and time and space and travel the entire world in one night? Uh, sorry, I, I don't want to do this, but old bald dad, is, he doesn't believe in Santa Claus. Sorry. Uh, just the way it is. Sorry. No. All right. I got 24 years old. Whoa, old bald dad is young. He's young. Yes. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm quite a bit older than that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm much older than 24 years old. It'd be nice to have that, but I'm not. I'm not 24. Thanks for the compliments. Guessing your age quiz. Uh, so what did you learn about yourself? Old bald dad seemed to learn that he was claustrophobic. He's a 24-year-old claustrophobic. That's what he is. Old Ball Dad's a 24-year-old claustrophobic. I don't know what you would get. Well, uh, thank you for joining me. As always, you like the videos, you like the content, like, subscribe. We put them out there. You should try some quizzes yourselves. As always, uh, don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Facebook, uh, Old Ball Dad on both of those. Uh, hook me up because I put up uh, bad dad jokes pretty much every day of the week just for a laugh, just for some humor. Th again, Thank you for joining me. It's been great. It's been fun being with you. Uh, this is Old Bald Dad signing off.